Right, the man says both Cougars were not afraid of him at all. He says he fired two warning shots to scare one off, but it didn't go anywhere. Then minutes later, he noticed a second Cougar that wasn't backing down either. I will warn you, some of these photos are a little graphic. Around midnight last night, these two big cats were found on the property where Dave Callister lives in Corbett. Neighbors in the area say chickens have gone missing over the last few weeks. There is a chicken coop on the property, so Dave thinks that's maybe why the two Cougars were hanging around. He had a close call with them in the dark last night. We're walking by my truck and uh, I almost stepped on the tail of the one and being curious I looked under the truck and found myself nose to nose with this one and yelled at him and he hissed at me so I realized he wasn't going anywhere. Dave fired two warning shots, but when neither Cougar ran away, he felt like he had no choice but to shoot and kill both of them. He says there are kids who live on the property, and he didn't feel safe with how comfortable the Cougars seem to be with people. I spoke with Oregon Fish and Wildlife today. They told me it is legal to kill a Cougar that is threatening agriculture or people. Dave will have to bring the dead Cougars to Fish and Wildlife, though, so they can evaluate them and hope to learn more about Cougars in the area.